Welcome back. Awesome day. Mike back there, former department chair. Awesome guy. Came over with the Texas Cadillac here because we decided to do a little sea trial. What do you think, guys? I think it's a fine day for it. It is uh, St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. Uh, it's supposed to be rainier than hell today, but it's blue sky. Yeah. We got yeah. some green on, yeah. so we feel we're feeling lucky. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna drop her in, do a basic sea trial, go see if we can see if we can make her work. And mm. yeah, we got a high confidence. Yeah. It ran. It ran. Oh, yeah. There might be fuel in it. Might not be. I'm not sure about the fuel the gauge. Uh, we don't we don't really have a fuel gauge. Turns out, but. Um, Maybe we'll stop. It sounded like it had something, but we are going to stop at the two o'clock. Yep. Right now, we know where Ezra is. Yep. All right. That's that's it's a good day. So yeah. let's go for a boat ride. Yeah. Uh, plugs. Yeah. I don't think it has any plugs. We should check. No winterization plugs that I'm aware of. We'll get in the water and test our thrusters. Motor starts. Yeah, let's get somebody on board before we take yeah. the straps off. Hasn't been to the water in a couple years. Give her a peek. No news is good news. Nothing happening there. I'm feeling pretty solid then. Hang here for a while. Yeah, we'll get her running and let her run for a little bit, get up to temperature and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Ain't no rush, there's nobody else here. Right. You bring it back, we can put a bow in at least. Yeah. AIS alarm works. Yep. There is the reason that we've been delayed on the Ranger Tug One Ocean. Snuck that in, did a quick little five month refit. She's almost ready to go. Extra luck never hurts. Yeah. Yeah. A little green, little green yeah. fuel here. here. Good, good, good. Excellent. The engine temperature, oil's good, so we're gonna go out. The thing we really need to test is our prop because we reduced horsepower, but the RPM is different, and so we think it's gonna work out. Original prop. We'll yeah. see how it goes. We'll see how it does. It's the biggest reason to see that. All is looking good in here. We've got a whopping point two hours on the tack on the odometer and then uh, uh uh temps looking good really haven't warmed her up yet but starting to climb up there we know it's working and five bar is looking good for our oil pressure so we'll keep it posted every good sea trial to record it. every good yep every good sea trial definitely needs an hors d'oeuvre don't want a mutiny on this short outing right. so oh. i mean so tim had to go. take time off of work for this i know good gosh yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> well, this is what you do on a sea trial, brand new engine. You get out your thermal image camera. Professor Matt there is doing all the check and stuffing box and transmission and the whole thing. We're looking at our vacuum gauge. We're looking at our exhaust temperature alarm is right there. We're just making sure that we're not leaking anything and everything is working out really, really well. All right, we've taken it up to 70% or so. That's all we can do. Uh, with the new engine, but uh, we got eight knots, so there's a chance. We were hoping for ten, and we maybe may get, get there. there. Maybe, maybe not. It might be nine. But that's just what it is. Yeah. We knew that going in. I, I saw all that. Hold on. I'm pretty sure. Do that one more time. Yeah, all the way up. Go yeah, for just it. give it a quick. Get through the 
Hey, we're gonna give it a quick little spurt of power here, even though it's a new engine. Ten and a half, that's good, Tim. We did 30 seconds. 11, good. 11, one. And we got more to go. All right, did you, did you capture the ribbons on that? Well, there it is, 25 foot Ranger tug that um, Britton donated to us, former Scally, Skagit Valley College um, employee, administrator, wonderful man. And uh, he's gonna be super happy when he sees this. He knew when the engine was all boogered up that the Marine Tech Center was the place to repower this boat and, and give it more life. It was far too nice of a boat not to do that too. And so, and then of course, beautiful, beautiful day. So this is after we did all the engine room checks and got an hour or so on the, on the outer meter to make sure everything was good. We jumped up and tossed out our drone and thought we'd get a little underway footage of the boat so you could see how it runs out. It runs out really nice at, you know, anywhere from five to, well, you saw we, we actually did hit 11 knots with it, but there it is at about nine or 10 not somewhere in there and uh, so it pushes a little bit of waves but slowing it down to seven knots seems to be super super efficient and um, so we'll we'll get that in the next video the Yanmar I have this exact same engine in uh, Black Pearl you can look it up the uh, fuel efficient motor sailor that I have um, Yanmar um, projected curves and fuel consumption is spot on so whoever buys this boat will know exactly uh, what the fuel burn is at all of the the different um, rpm settings and so yeah that was a fun day just going out and riding around in circles and making sure the boat ran out well and uh, taking pictures so stay tuned super super fun project okay then i just had to throw this in um, been running the drone for a few years now and we do have floats on it uh, but retrieving a drone on the water is often tricky and big thanks to um, Mac and Jenny cruising Maya they said after one drone went in the water not of mine but I've seen three go in they said you got to get some floats on that thing and practice and so that's what we're doing floats and practicing before we go through the Northwest Passage and so we're getting it figured out it's pretty easy Well, there is beautiful Capsani Hill, Capsani Marina here. They got a nice park up on the top of that hill and you can hike all over, there's trails. Um, the launch is right there by uh, the commercial dock. And so we got lots of fish boats. There's a lot of activity happening right now in the marina. But what we found is um, at wide open throttle, the Yanmar 4JH, um, this 110 horsepower, the HTE series is a 3200 RPM engine and we just bumped it once just to see where it was at so we'd know for the prop and it went up to 34 so a couple hundred too much so and we did see 11 knots so we think we'll get a little bit more speed out of it um, by getting a propeller that'll bite up a little more so maybe one more inch of pitch we'll have to talk to a propeller shop of course but at the end of the day it ran out perfect and um, i'm so excited this is a great great little boat um, after we get back from uh, our spring break right now, we're doing final exams. We'll put the boat back in the water probably and take uh, some of the scallywags, the students that did some of the hard work on the repower. And uh, we're gonna go out and get a few more hours on this engine and, and show them what it's all about. So as always, uh, we'll get an interview here with Matt about what he thought about the day. And uh, it's just super fun. Every day on the water is a good day. Okay, back of the slip. Just kicked the mast down. What do you think, boss? Oh, totally successful sea trial. We did not need the luck of the Irish, as anticipated. Um, really kind of ran her through the range, spent a little bit of time right at the top end. We were able to attain higher RPM than rated, meaning we could add some pitch to the prop for a little more speed. Got 11 knots, though. We got 11 knots, yep. Yeah. Future owner could think about repitching, but I, I mean, aside from that, really smooth. Um, temperatures were good, pressures were good, shaft seal did not sink quiet really 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 good. beautiful most surprise good, biggest yeah. surprise was how quiet it was running yeah. um, most of the gear worked that we tested yeah, chart plotter all thrusters gear. all gear worked yeah, it was yeah 100 percent successful great boat for the islands great boat for the it's good yeah islands to alaska i think this is the perfect the perfect inside passage ride here so i think so well let's put her back on the trailer behind the texas cadillac
as we mentioned, this uh, 25 foot Ranger tug will be for sale. Uh, we'll have it on Yacht World and we'll have a video here by the weekend or within a week uh, with all the details. If you're interested, it is uh, state property, so it will be an auction. Um, but you can bid on it and uh, it's going to make somebody a really nice boat, that's for sure. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out.